Okay, so 10 things to be thinking about with music in a church plan. First thing is that big is not necessarily better. Uh, one to two instruments are all that you need to make some really quality singing in any church, large or small. Piano and guitar are ideal instruments, but um, uh, the more things that you have, the more things that can go wrong. So just quality and small. What is really essential though is a song leader, someone who can stand up the front and help engage the group. The good news about um, song leading is though that you don't have to be a professional musician to do it, you just need someone who is good at engaging a crowd. What they need to do if they're not experienced with leading singing though is to spend some time practicing. Just go home, sing into the mirror, see what you look like, uh, uh, are you able to engage people with your face and in the things that you say. Another thing to consider is have a small playlist of songs that you use on high rotation. The, the reason is that when you have a new group of people learning how to sing together, they may not know the same songs, uh, they may not feel comfortable with each other. If you just have a couple of songs that you do regularly, you'll quickly uh, build up uh, confidence and uh, comfortableness within that group. Small number of songs that you sing regularly. You also want to get singing into the DNA of your church from day one uh, for a whole list of reasons. If, if, if the word of Christ being preached is essential to your church plan, so should the word of Christ being sung. If you want your church to be a church that engages the heart, then you need to get the singing happening from the very beginning. And that possibly means thinking of a, of a key music person within your core group as you plan the beginning of the church. Uh, that key musician is not the, to be the person that has all the responsibility for getting the music right because the ideal team will be the combination of the pastor and the music leader, the music director working together bringing both theological insight and musical relevance into the singing. Importantly I think we need to remember that the congregation is always going to be the focus of our singing. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis um, out there in, in modern Christian music about the stuff that happens at the front, the, the quality of the band, the, the, the look of, of the professional song leaders. So much of it is about what goes on at the front, whereas what the Bible tells us is that our singing is all about the church, the congregation singing the word of Christ to one another. So think about how practically you can make that happen. Um, also important is to think about the issue of the heart and of the emotions. Do you want your church to be a church which allows the Word and Spirit of Christ to be engaging the heart? Well the music is going to be a key place where you get that right. We don't want our music to be a place, uh, we don't want our music to be a vehicle for uh, hyping up or manipulating people's emotions. What we want our music to do is to allow people to respond to the gospel with appropriate emotion, which the Bible often shows us is um, thankfulness and love and joy. Um, if we want to have a, a thankful church in the whole of their lives, then we want to start by getting that right with, with our music, which trains us in that emotion. So what's important about all these things is letting the Word of Christ and the Spirit of Christ shape the way that we do music ministry. If we get the Word of Christ right in our singing, chances are we'll get it right in a whole other range of word ministries in our churches. And finally, I just encourage you not to pursue being cool in church music. Chances are you'll never be able to do it, not, especially not in the short term. Um, Pursuing coolness just uh, distracts from gospel priorities. What people really want in, in, in their music is authenticity. They want people that are going to uh, show them love, who are going to engage with them. Far more important than, than uh, being slick at the front.